Welcome back. Uh, we apologize for that um, time out. Now, moving on to our first feature for the day. The largest cryptocurrency in the world, Bitcoin, is trading under immense pressure. One Bitcoin is now worth around um, 27,000 US dollars, which almost was around $69,000 in November of 2021. Since then, Bitcoin has been on an a downward trajectory, and now it almost looks impossible that it will ever recover back to the heights that it witnessed long back in 2021. Well, I have joining me right now certified blockchain architect and metaverse expert, Rume Dominic. Uh, thanks for joining us on this discourse, uh, Rume. Thank you very much for having me. Okay, the question right now is that should one just... Uh, invest in Bitcoin or one should just uh, run a mile or have high hopes because right now a whole lot of things are happening. No one is really understanding what's happening in the cryptoverse, specifically with Bitcoin. It is seemingly going under by the day. What exactly is the issue, Rume? Okay. <laughs> Interesting question you've asked. One of the major stories that I've heard recently and also been able to follow up recently on is the fact that truly we should um, not actually run from Bitcoin. However, there seems to be a couple of crackdown in terms of regulatory policies in the US. As two of the biggest exchanges in the US, Coinbase and Bitrex, they've issued out a statement saying that they might likely leave the US very soon because of the security crackdown, that the SEC crackdown that has been melted to death. However, um, let's leave the fundamentals on this and let's be able to focus on the facts on the chat. Because, you know, sometimes the fundamentals tries to play with investors' emotions so that they can actually lose a lot of momentum and interest in the market. The facts in the chat from my week, last weekly market analysis that um, was posted out this morning is that we take three data points one in 2015, one in 2019, and one in our current day, 2023. And we saw that from these three data points, Bitcoin have actually, from its last all-time high, been able to correct about 85% 80 downwards and start a new bull run. Same thing happened in 2019, and same thing happened from that 2022 when Bitcoin came down to this particular time. Now, Bitcoin is currently headed for an upward trend. And if you notice, Bitcoin has been rising from $15,000 to this particular point of $30,000. It's normal for a market to be able to correct after such an upward trend of over 100%. And the scare that we're all having is not so much of a scare that we should have. I mean, I just made mention of 80-something percent. We only had about 10% drop in the price of Bitcoin, which is normal for every market. So I think um, it's something that we should have been expecting coming, given the fact that we have been on a very good run and a very upward trajectory for this period of time. So it is not a time for investors to be scared. It's a time for them to actually look at facts and data on the charts, just like I pointed out, and be able to take smart investment decisions. Okay, but Rumi, I need to really have a background of um, this um, whole drop and decline in Bitcoin because it actually dates back to 2022. Uh, you know why? I remember the fall of um, the crash of um, FTX and all of that. But so far, since then, uh, most people have not really been speaking positively as much as they have been speaking since of um, cryptocurrency and, of course, um, the Bitcoin uh, since last year. So what exactly really happened? How come it felt that low? I mean, from what I see here, it actually fell to about um, to about um, twenty seven thousand dollars. So, what exactly is the situation really? How did we get here? Actually, you know, about one year ago, Bitcoin did some. Bitcoin was at its all time high. So, at Bitcoin has, at its all time high. On my chart, if like I'm looking at my chart now, my chart is actually showing me that the last time Bitcoin was at its all time high at sixty-seven thousand dollars was about November, close to December, twenty twenty-one. Mm -hmm. And at sixty-seven thousand dollars, the market had a very high level of euphoria, which means that the market was excited. And if you know, if you remember, we're in Buffett's law of of investment, which is one of the big greatest investors, is that you should sell when the market is excited and buy when the market is fearful. That particular time at $67,000, the market was extremely excited. And truly, with every currency, there's always 
a rise and a fall, even with the US dollars, even with the Naira, even with the yen, the pound. And it is not different from Bitcoin because every currency is based on demand and supply. When you had investors make so much profit from where Bitcoin currently rose from before it got to that point of $67,000, of course, there will be a lot of people that will want to take profit. Now, when that particular market started, started dropping down, of, um, there was a lot of negative sentiment that was actually also attached to it. Following the fact that we had some FTX crash, we also had some political unrest like in Ukraine, um, a lot of currency wars and all that. These things, you know, Bitcoin is also correlated with the traditional markets in a way because some of the money that is used to buy Bitcoin comes from fiat currencies. So these things were actually some of the reasons that made Bitcoin to actually decline in that particular manner and obeyed normal market movement and had that particular correction on my chart if you take as i'm looking at my chart now if you are to take that particular measurement bitcoin also dropped about 80 something percent downwards from where it was at that particular point in time so it is not something that we should be scared of it is a normal market correction and we can see that throughout the year since the beginning of 2023 we've had another upward trajectory in another market cycle starting so it is time for people to now look at it and say, yes, I'm a smart investor. I'm going to use only the decision and the facts based on the charts to be able to approach the market this time. Okay, so as it is right now, what does this mean in uh, the next few months? Uh, should you adjust that trade back once money on the road? Or what tips are you going to be given? Because of course, you only have to you know, buy you know, uh, when the market actually suits you and not um, when it's so, 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 so low as it is. So as it is right now, should investors be keeping their monies or should they be looking at other options in the cryptoverse? What just should they be doing? <laughs> well, actually, you know, the decision to go digital is a personal decision in as much as we're pushing for um, a lot of digitalization in the economy. But right now, truly the decision to adopt Bitcoin as a form of currency that you want to use over other sources of currency or you want to invest in it as an asset is a personal decision. Just the same way you um, are going to be investing in stocks and all that. If you look at it and you see that from the current financial state of the world, looking at the fact that there is so much inflation, looking at the fact that the dollar is um, being said that it wants to be able to lose its power and all that. And looking at the fact that Bitcoin as a currency is sound money and the and cannot be manipulated by the government and all of those things, you can then say I want to be able to invest a, a, a chunk of my portfolio, maybe one percent of my portfolio, maybe ten percent of my portfolio. Because let's say if you have a ten thousand dollars portfolio and then you invest one percent of that portfolio, that would be like a hundred dollars. If Bitcoin actually goes up about maybe two maybe goes up to a hundred thousand dollars. Maybe you will have made 300% of investment right now. But if it drops down, you will just lose about $100 of that investment and still retain about $9,900 of your portfolio. So it's a thing of being able to understand that you can stomach the risk that is involved with these different currencies. I mean, there's really no making money without risk in, uh, involved. But truly, Bitcoin is actually positioned for a very good mid-term and long-term upward trend from the facts on the charts from what i've seen and from the data points that i've actually made mention of earlier so it is not something that investors should look at running away from at the moment it's something you should look at aping into and also getting into the other ecosystem because the market cycle sees money going into bitcoin first and flowing into these other cryptocurrencies and you can see that bitcoin has risen up to about thirty thousand dollars it's having that correction and it's going to bounce up again. Right, thank you so much, uh, Rumi, for your time, for all those useful insights that you have given to us concerning um, what's happening in the cryptoverse. We do appreciate your time. Right, thank you very much for having me. All right.